Okay, so here's a model of the atom. Inside the atom, we've got subatomic particles like the proton and the neutron. These are what we call nucleons because they're found inside the nucleus of the atom. Also inside the atom, we've got electrons. The electrons are orbiting around the nucleus in their energy levels. Okay, so if you look at the charge of the proton and electron, they're opposites. The electron has a negative charge while the proton has a positive charge. The neutron doesn't have any charge. In terms of mass, the proton and neutron basically have the same mass. They have a mass of 1.67 times the power of minus 27 kilograms, or we could say a relative mass of 1, while the electron has a much, much smaller mass. So its mass is 1 in 1840th the mass of um, a proton or a neutron. So in many calculations, we can ignore the mass of the electron, especially when it's being compared to that of the proton and the neutron. So there's a slight error with this model, which is not, is not quite accurate, is that it's not to scale. In reality, that uh, atom uh, is quite like relatively larger than the nucleus. The nucleus is one in 10,000th the size of the atom. So you can see the atom is around 0 0.1 nanometer, while the nucleus is only one femtometer, which means that the most atoms actually just empty space. Okay, so we use this notation to represent the nucleus of atoms. The A stands for the nuclear number or the mass number. And that's basically the total number of protons and the total number of uh, neutrons added together. The Z stands for the atomic number or sometimes referred to as a proton number. And that's just the total number of protons inside the nucleus. So here's an example. This is sodium 23. So the 23 means there are a total number of protons plus neutrons added together, it means there's, there's 23 of them. The 11 represents the number of protons. So we can do the maths, 23 minus 11 means that there's 12 neutrons inside this nucleus. Here's another sodium, but this is sodium 24. So the reason why this is still sodium is because it's still got 11 protons. So all sodiums will have 11 protons. That's what makes it sodium. The 24 means that there are 24 protons plus neutrons. So if we do the maths, there are 13 neutrons. So this is different from the sodium because it's got one extra neutron. These are what we call isotopes. So isotopes of an element have the same number of protons, but different number of neutrons.